Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rain and welcome back to the Sir Quaxline YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be showing you how to get DTS surround sound working on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Because a precursor before we get started with anything, at the end of this video we're going to be talking about the future of this channel, my plans and some very cool stuff, what I have my new setup, a new amplifier, with 7 point round cinema speaker setup and a projector and cinema screen and we're going to be talking about advanced formats like Adobe Atmos and DTSX and how to get that kind of stuff working along with Adobe Digital True HD and DTS HD. That will be in a separate video but at the end of this video there will be some talk about what's going on. So first of all let's start this off by the very minimum for noobs. So we're going to type in system in our search bar and we're going to look for system information. I am running Windows 11 as you can see. I'm just using start is back to get that classic beautiful Windows 7 start bar. We're looking for system type and under type you're going to look for your version. If this is 64 obviously run the 64-bit version of Apple. If it says 32-bit, you're going to want to run the x86. These will both be available in the description. You just need to click on the latest download and go to Mediafire and download it. So, after that's done, you're going to want to come down to your control panel and bring up Windows Defender. And we're going to come in here and we're going to go down to manage settings. And I'm going to turn off our real time protection. That's the only one you need to turn off. The rest of these can stay on. They're perfectly fine. This will stop your antivirus from absolutely demolishing the Apo driver package when it's installed and modifies your driver. So we're going to open up Apo and we're going to go add or remove features. We're going to scroll on down. We're going to highlight TTS Connect and DTS Entertainment. Click next, click next, install, and it will do its thing. Your sound icon down here should get a red cross for it, and you're good if that means we can move on to the next step, which is patching the driver to your sound device. So we're going to type in FX and open up FX Configurator. Opening up FX Configurator and dropping down the drop down menu, and we're going to select Realtek Digital Output. This is your optical. This does not work over ARC, unfortunately. I should have said that at the start. If I didn't, I completely forgot. This only works over digital or optical. No ARC support, unfortunately. This, however, is superior to Dolby Digital in a few ways, such as it has a higher bit rate and bandwidth. It will sound better if you have a high-end system. You'll definitely notice the sound difference over Dolby Digital but if your system ain't that great and you don't have fantastic gears, you're really not going to notice the difference and you might as well go for Adobe Digital. That's, that's a nice control panel you can use. Once you uh, come down here and you've selected your endpoint, you want to go product config and you want to get this drop down menu. And we are going to scroll down and we're going to look for DTS Connect Spitf. Click apply and it will do some funny shit. Your sound icon will go funky and then it'll come back on. Then we want to go to our playback devices and we're going to scroll on down and we're going to look at our real tech digital output. And under advanced, you will find DTS. Make sure that is selected and applied. And now when you click test, your AV receiver should say that it's receiving Dolby Digital or DTS. Uh, well, DTS in this case. Anyway, now that's done, you're pretty much set to go. You can find a DTS test file in the description most likely. Um, basically, testing your sound and making sure everything's working correctly. Hope this helped, and on to the next part. So, I've recently upgraded my sound system, and now I have a Marantz uh, 1605 AV receiver, which is 7.1 cinema receiver, and it's amazing. It supports True HD, and it's got partial Atmos support. I also now have a high end projector set up, along with a 100 inch um, remote control 
cinema screen that comes down, that is going to be in a new video showing off my new setup and how LeverSync works. And in a few of the videos I'm going to be making, um, we're going to be talking about Atmos, Dolby, True HD, DTS HD, and uh, yeah, DTS X, and how we get these working, and how all of this works in general, and what are the benefits of using each. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe, hit that like button. If it didn't, well, please leave a comment, and I'll see if I can help you out. Everybody, this has been Sir Quark's a lot. I hope this helped y'all. Have a great day. If you want to make some friends, come join my Discord server. It'll be linked below. And yeah, pretty much peace.